Hey, it's Shabbat's in Factory Town Tycoon. Tycoon? Hey, this video is going to be taking what we've built so far, which is our carpenter, our saws. I should put a storage rack in this, but I'm not going to right now. And we are going to use the basic conveyor, a corner, and a T-joint. Okay? And all those are locked down here in the build menu. Okay, good enough. You got to know that by now. So, let's start. We This is all about the carpenter this time still. Blacksmithy coming up. So, here's our carpenter. Now, the most simple loop is to put four corners on this thing. And that just allows you to, to feed the basic materials, right? We'll be able to feed it nails, planks or pillars, depending on our recipe, glass, if we want to make windows, like this. So let's just start with the basic design, or the idea of a loop. And if you've played in any, like, games like this, you've definitely made loops before. That was one of the early, when I started playing this, I was like, okay, where do I make a loop? And it was here. Oops, that didn't go. Yeah, that's good. That's not good. Okay, bam. You go right there. There. And then we will take two conveyors and complete the loop. And we don't have to worry about which way they're going because we can fix that with our wrench. So in fact, I'm just gonna put this one on purposely. I'm gonna rotate it the wrong way and slap it in there. So now if we follow our loop, arrow, 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 oh gosh, error. So we just take our wrench and reverse that. Is that right now? Yeah. So now this, we can feed it directly. We have to feed it planks and we have to feed, well, whatever you're making. If you're making this, you feed it, feed it planks and nails. If you want to make a bed, you feed it a little bit of everything. Planks, pillars, nails, and a couple of frames. So, that's the super basic feed it everything idea. Now, if we take one of these out, and I'm going to move that over to my little pile. I'm trying to be nice and tidy this time, instead of what usually happens. So this time I'm going to use this T-joint. And this is going to slip right in there, and it happens to be going the right way and everything. But the conveyor is going the wrong way. So I'm going to fix that right now while I'm thinking about it. Now I need a saw. We'll fit here. Whoops, I messed up. But it's okay. I'm going to fix it without changing anything. But I'll tell you one thing, if I wanted to move all of this and just unpack it and reassemble it, it's so fast with the wrench. So since I messed this up, I am going to get one, two, three, four turns. I need one turn somewhere. Any turns? I'm just going to make a turn. There's my turns back there. Okay. I almost thought I was all prepared, but I messed up. Well, hopefully the turn will fit, huh? Oh, man. Whatever. Okay. Now watch this. I'll show my lack of planning. Bam. Okay, that's good. See how versatile these pieces are? It's fun. Okay, so now, look what I've done. Now I see my step of, of putting plank by plank on there. Now I actually can do this. So now I can throw nails on there, of course. <laughs> I thought there was some nails here somewhere on the ground. 
Is it in my pile? All right. Oh, there's some nails. So I'm going to put those on my saw. And since the recipe is waiting for nails, we know that it's going to eat the nails. Then I'm going to get a piece of log because now I don't want to like do any more work. That was a lot of work on huh? moving all those planks on there. So I'm going to put the log on here because we want to make planks. Let's throw, wait, we need four planks per, we get three planks per log. So we need at least four logs for 12. So we have a divider of 12. Three times four is 12. It'll all work out good. So however many I put on there, fine. Let's get a few more nails and throw those through our feeding tube. Uh-oh, you know what that means? Do I have to change the direction? How's that? There we go. Let's see how good this works now, watch. It's gonna like, it'll start pulling out stuff it needs. Did it get the nails yet? No, I'm just gonna leave it. And then I'm going to, you see what, there's an opportunity right here. Like if you've unlocked the horse unloader, it, it just goes right here. You can unload your, and if it's a load of logs, you can unload it directly. Let's build one. Now for that to unlock, gosh, I don't know why this, I gotta watch the video and see why my window continually close. Like I scroll like this and it closes all the time. Maybe I'm hitting the back button. So you would have to unlock the spacer, the sorter, to get to the unloader. And I'm telling you, that's one of the first things I see. Somebody will have one carpenter, one saw, and the unloader. So people are definitely buying this thing. So let's build one. Look at this. We already got frames being made. Let's use these frames. Why not? Come here. Well. It got away from me. I know there's one more right here I just made. All right, two frames, pillars. I got some pillars sitting right here I'm gonna use. Isn't that a pillar? Wait, I'm not hitting the purple. No. Oh, there it went. Okay, and now I was pressing on the conveyor area and it worked perfect. There we go. Nails right in my bucket. There we go. Now, oh yeah, so that's a good, see how I just threw this down and built it right there, I didn't care. That's what I do, that's why I have this little station over here. I pretty much will just build everything and then bring it right where I want it and assemble it right where I want it. Because I, I think it was because early on I had trouble placing the ghost image right where I wanted it. So let's slap this guy in here. Thank goodness it fits, right? Like I am on the edge. The edge, the edge, the edge, the edge. That's all, sorry. <gasps> Darn it, that's okay. It's so easy. All right, one more. It's so easy, what's so easy, that's all. All right, so this time I'm not gonna break it down. <laughs> I'm gonna change the direction. There we go. So now, let's go borrow this guy's horse and carriage over here. La, 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 la. Do I turn the graphics up? I feel like I'm lagging a teeny tiny bit. Nope. This is the second time I made this video because it went on too long and here I am. I just, I feel it. It's going on a long time. So, that's okay. Now, I went and I'm gonna cut down this tree. And I'm gonna put one of my back end too, there, my back end. <laughs> okay, so right there. So what's going on over here right now? We've got a frame kind of stuck. 
What are we out of? We got nails and planks. So it's, it wants these logs. It's waiting for them. And if I wanted to make pillars, I just pull a log off myself before they all unload and throw it right here. Then I might get a pillar made. Oops, I meant right here. I just made more planks. But anyway, so see the timer's going again because we fed it some planks and just added. So that was two loop. Was that three loops? T-joint and saw. Oh yeah, and a feeder, okay. And the other option is, let's say you're making a bunch of these and you want storage, well, let's put it right here. on our. Let's take out this conveyor and for the heck of it, let's build where is it? Oh, here it is, storage rack. Okay, I need some of these. Get in there. One of these, nope, I don't need any of those. I need one of these. There. Oh wait, I do need these, I didn't see it. That's planks I'm pulling out of the other house. Now I nail, nope. Nails, yes. Log right behind me. And, okay, so now we got our storage rack. The hot spot is right back here, still on the side of the house. So, now I'm just gonna throw this right in here. Like that. I think that's the sweet spot. Now, it's gonna pick up the first thing it can, which happened to be, yay, a frame. So now it's gonna start picking up our frames. And it happened to be going the right way. There you go. Now you got frames in storage. Switch this to beds. You've got these nice and handy right here. Throw them right on your conveyor or place them in the carpenter. Nails. Some lumber. I'm gonna throw this over here. Whoops. Okay, that was planks. <laughs> there, there's a pillar. There's a pillar. So you see, instead of having to bring each plank and feed it onto the conveyor by adding just a T-joint, we're able to throw in a saw. We're able to throw this in. So then you get this stuff like, well, anyway, let's see. It should be making a bed by now. There it is. So that's how that works. And then next I want to do, it's going to be the, almost the exact same thing, but I'd like to show how to do this, which you need the pickaxe, a smelter, and a blacksmith. You really need those three things to start making metal stuff. This is optional. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.